Imagine you are having a treasure map that says a treasure is located 10 meters from the coconut tree. But 10 meter in which direction? It could be here, here or even here. Without a direction, finding a treasure becomes incredibly difficult. Now what if the map provides a direction along with the distance? Suddenly, it's not a such a big deal. See, direction plays an important role in both your career and physics. Talking about physics, we deal with the various quantities like mass, force, temperature, velocity, volume, displacement and many more. The presence or absence of direction divides these quantities into two groups, namely scalars and vectors. So what are scalars and vectors and how they are the building block of physics? Let's find out in today's video. There are some quantities in physics that only need magnitude to be understood. They don't require any direction. For example, mass. Consider a dumbbell of mass 5 kg. Here, 5 is the magnitude and it has a no direction. It's simply a mass. We don't say mass of 5 kg north or mass of 5 kg south. It's just 5 kg. Similarly, temperature, volume and time all have magnitude but no direction. We call such quantities as scalars. So, by definition, a scalar is any quantity that has magnitude but not a direction. And these scalars are usually denoted by simple letters, just like this. Now, let's talk about quantities that requires both magnitude and direction. For example, force. If someone says a force of 10 Newton is acting on a table, we don't know in which direction. It could be this way, this way or even this way. If I say a force of 10 Newton is acting on a table in a downward direction, the correct option becomes a clear. Similarly, gravitational acceleration g towards the earth suggests both magnitude and direction making it a vector quantity. And in physics, you will find many of these vector quantities like velocity, air drag and many more. So by definition, a vector is a quantity in physics and mathematics that has both magnitude and direction. And these vectors are denoted by bold letters or letters with arrow on the top, just like this. I hope you now have a clear understanding of a scalars and vectors. Let's summarize this topic. So in physics, quantities are defined in two categories, scalars and vectors. Scalars are the quantities with magnitude but not a direction, whereas vector have a both magnitude and direction. Scalars are represented by ordinary letters, while vectors are represented by bold letters or letters with arrow on top. Examples of scalars include quantities like mass and volume, and examples of vectors include quantities like force and velocity. Scalars can be added, subtracted or multiplied directly using ordinary arithmetic rules. However, vectors require vector addition and subtraction rules. Now, what is the vector addition and subtraction and what are the rules for it? That we will cover in the next video. You may find that video link here. And that's all for today. Don't forget to leave a like and put your question in the comment. See you soon. Till then, take care and bye-bye.